much and uh, the recording now started. So thank you very much. I'm very excited to be here and thank you for attending. And for those who listen to the recording afterwards, uh, welcome as well. Um, I want to start with a short introduction. My name is Oren Shatil and I'm part of the S4 organization within SAP. Uh, I'm driving a team that is called the Front Runner team, which is part of the product engineering. And we focus on innovation adoption and uh, also in business process uh, intelligence. And uh, RPA is part of this uh, uh, overall uh, content that we are working on and focusing on. Together with me, I have Amita Kamat, who will introduce herself uh, in a few minutes, and Matthias Rupp as well. Uh, Matthias will help with the Q&A. So before I go into the agenda, uh, again, warm welcome, and feel free to uh, start uh, posting your questions in the chat. Um, Matthias will monitor those and can answer while we are presenting. Um, so today we will start with an intelligent automation overview and how it uh, have a specific uh, focus on the second part with the SAP intelligent RPA best practices content, how SAP is investing in pre-built content. Uh, and then we will have a demo where Amita will go through the uh, creation of a sales order and show you how this is being automated and will really show you just the beginning on how you can start with your first bot, which is pre-built and how uh, to bring it into the system and start working with that, modify, extend as needed. Um, next uh, slide, please. So in this session, we will talk about SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation, a service that leverages a scalable orchestration platform combined with SAP out-of-the-box pre-built deliver robotic content. Uh, we will see how to consume that uh, SAP S4 HANA, um, and this will be followed by a demo. Um, according to Gardner, RPA is digital enablement technology that predominantly leverage a combination of user interface UI and surface level features to create script that automate routine predictable data transcription work. RPA is currently one of the most popular form of artificial intelligence application. And um, in SAP, we also use APIs. Uh, so not only UI bots, but uh, also API bot and utilize really the fact that we are building those bots uh, within uh, a lab environment and deliver it to you um, ready to use and ready to consume and also the ability to extend and modify. We have the unattended way, the uh, fully automated and attended partially automated process. Um, we will see part of it in the demonstration. Let's go to the next slide, please. So when we talk about SAP intelligent robotic process automation, we have the ability to automate SAP S4 HANA, but also beyond SAP S4 HANA, uh, other products. On the left-hand side, you see we have three components, three main components. The one is the desktop studio. This is where you bring in the bots that are pre-built and, and either modify or extend them, or even build your own bot from scratch if, if needed. Um, and then in the cloud factory is where you run and monitor those bots, where administrator can really look at how the bots are running, what are the errors and, and monitor um, and, and make sure that um, improvement or error fixing is being done. And the desktop agent is for you to run your own bots and uh, basically trigger those, um, those runs uh, that you want. On the right-hand side, you can see that it's not, not only SAP S4 HANA, but also uh, other uh, cloud and uh, non-cloud uh, products from SAP, and then integrated also to various uh, other application in order to be able to automate beyond uh, just uh, within S4 HANA. Let's go to the next. We deliver our pre-built content, which is a key uh, component and key uh, advantage using SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation in the best practices explorer. When you talk about S4 HANA specific bots 
and you know how to look at the scope item and look how uh, how to search for the content within the best within the best practices explorer to cover the functional scope analytical scope here you will find also the robotic process automation and this is where you will see the long end to end processes and where you can get the most value uh, how those both are tied to the scope item definition so everything that is known and familiar for our um, SAPS for HANA customers. Let's go to the next slide, please. The bot store is linked from the best practices explorer in order to be able to automatically bring those bots into your RPA instance. Remember, RPA is running on the cloud platform from SAP and basically riding on processes in S4 or other systems. So here in the bot store, you can find not only the S4 HANA pre-built bots, but also pre-built bots for other LOBs or other uh, products from SAP. But you can filter even here based on S4 or based on specific LOB or end-to-end -end processes in order to find the bot and bring it into the RPA instance. So all of this in order to make the uh, implementation easier to be able to automate a lot of the implementation process as well. And remember, the pre-built bots are being validated with a lot of customers in order to bring the most value uh, when you start using them and you can extend and modify. And with this, I would like to hand over to Amita for her demo because as you know, the best is to see it live in the system. Amita? Thank you, Oren. So hi all, my name is Amita Kamath and I'm a part of the SAP S4 HANA Frontrunner team at SAP. And I work in the area of SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation. So before we get into the actual demo, let's quickly take a look at the use case. So in most of the organization, the process of uploading sales order is done manually. The internal sales representatives receive multiple order requests through Excel spreadsheets, and then they have to create the sales order manually in the system one by one based on the data received. So the whole process can be labor intensive and also require a lot of time with multiple screen navigation. So with this use case, we have automated the sales order creation process in SAP S4 HANA using the SAP API, which helps reduce the manual task and also makes the process faster and error-free. So for this demo, we have already installed the SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation tool and have completed a few initial configurations like user management and also creating agent and environment. So before we get into the execution part, we will complete the following. The first is to acquire the pre-built content, which is the automatic creation of sales order from Excel from the bot store. And next, we will trigger the package to run the bot in the attended mode. So let's quickly get into the system. Okay. So once you log on to our SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation Factory, you will have a homepage as your starting point. So here you can see we have a welcome message with a link to the SAP help portal, where you can find all the information regarding our SAP Intelligent RPA tool. It is our one-stop solution for all the details. So next, we have a tile, which is the what's new section, where you can get information about the new features and the latest changes with the SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation. So in the next half of the page, we provide a quick report, which is your latest activities, which includes new packages, environment triggers, and also the stats of how many agents are connected, and the existing job and their status. Next, we have the SAP Bot Store, which is completely integrated in our SAP Intelligent RPA factory. So here, it is our centralized location for storing all the pre-built bot. As Oren mentioned, it's not just limited to SAP S4 HANA content, but we also have content around other areas like success factors and also ECC. So you can further filter these bots based on say category, line of business, or industries. So we also provide a search term, which is a free text search. So in, in case of our demo, we can just click on say sales order and the bot store will filter the content based on the key term. So to acquire the bot into your local factory, you can just click on get. Okay, so now you see 
the extraction is ongoing. And if I refresh, it says success. So once the extraction is success, or once the uh, content is being extracted, you will find it in the package section of the factory. So with each and every pre-built content, we also provide some documentations like test script, a configuration guide and also the Excel template, which help you jumpstart your automation journey almost immediately. So to look at these files, you just have to click on the package. Okay, and under the file section is all the documentation. So what we also provide is the source code, which can be used in the case of say extension or customization. So in a scenario, say you want to add a new feed, or you want to combine two or more bots to create to end to end scenario. In that case, you can easily use our source code as a reference and further extend it. So we also provide a test script, which is our step by step guide on how to execute a particular scenario. And the last we have the configuration guide, which covers the guidance around how to install and also configure the SAP intelligent RPA tool. Okay, so next, I will create a trigger to this bot. So to do so, I have the button, which is add trigger. So a trigger is a rule that defines the execution of scenarios. So we can add one or several triggers to one package. So the next step is to select an environment. So for this demo, I have already created an environment, which is 4G5 in advance. So environment is nothing but a functional landscape where you activate a bot. So once you select the environment, the next step will be to select the type of trigger. So in general, we have three types of trigger with SAP Intelligent RPA. The first one is the attended trigger, where the execution is started manually by the user. The next, we have the schedule trigger, where it creates the job that is based on the schedule that you define in the trigger. And the jobs run completely automated, so there is no human intervention. The third is the API trigger that opens a dedicated endpoint that allows an external application to execute the scenario based on the HTTPS post call. So in this scenario, I'll be uh, selecting the attended bot, and then I just have to click next. So now you will have to select the date and the time range when you want the bot to be active. Okay, and then we can click on create. So with this, we have successfully created a trigger to this package. So with each and every pre-built bot, there are some additional manual configuration that have to be done, which can be setting up of a variable or also communication arrangement in case of you're using a API bot. So all these information are available as a part of the test script. So it's always recommended that you refer to a test script before you execute any of our pre-built content. Okay, so for this scenario, we had eight variables that needed to be set and we have done this in advance. So variables can be anything like, uh, like a URL, S4HANA URL or a folder path, which can ease the bot execution. Okay, so before we start with the execution, I would like to quickly take you through the uh, Excel template. So even the Excel template is the part of our pre-built content and you can just download it from the bot store. So we have structured the Excel based on header and line item, and all the mandatory fields are marked with star sign. So these are all the fields which are must to be added. And apart from that, we also provide some fields which are optional and can be added based on a customer's requirement. Okay, so now if you see, you can see the package in our desktop agent and it is active. So to run the bot, you just have to click on create sales order. Okay. Let me... okay. So you see the bot has started the execution. It opens the Excel sheet. And because it's an API bot, the all the execution is in the background. So in case, if you were executing a UI bot, you could see how the bot navigates from screen to screen and from field to field. So once the execution is done and once the sales order is created, then the bot extract all the information into an Excel sheet and places it into the folder in your desktop. Okay. So in this case, 
you can see we have a, a Excel sheet in the folder which says successful. So it means that a sales order was, was created in SAP s system. So within the header tab, under the column sales order, you can find the sales order number. So we can quickly check this in the SAP s system. So I click on the manage sales order and I'll just filter on the sales. Okay, so I just filter on the sales order and you can see the sales order is already created in the SAP s hana So with this, we complete the demo and we open up for the Q&A. Thank you, Amita. Uh, I think the Q&A is uh, running already in the chat. Um, any questions, uh, voiceover, something that we can answer beside the questions in the chat? Yes, if anyone wants to get themselves off mute, go ahead and raise your hand and we can allow you to speak. Uh, while we are waiting for the questions, I wanted to uh, just let you know for those who are um, looking at their Cloud Studio uh, to zero, we are currently in the process of building the first templates for this, which will be uh, currently planned with no commitment yet, but to be delivered around the Sapphire time. So we are focusing on the most requested templates to bring them into the uh, cloud studio uh, available on 2.0 uh, around Sapphire time. We will communicate more information on the best practices explorer and the bot store as, as we go, uh, but this is the current plan. Very nice. Well, it doesn't look like there are any additional questions. Um, in the chat, were there any questions uh, Matthias, that we need to give a little bit more detail on, or can we move forward? I think I've answered most of them, and also some of the, the questions that were, were filed in up front. If there's anything else, I'm happy to answer more. Okay, it actually sounds like we're pretty good. I think we could probably move forward unless we want to give it another minute um, for anybody to chime in and ask questions. Okay, I think we can move forward. So Amita. <laughs> Okay, well, I wanna thank you guys for joining us and for presenting. This is really great. And it was really nice to get all of these questions answered. For everybody that joined us, thank you as well. Uh, thank you as well. Um, we've got some resources for you here um, from the SAP community. If you happen to have any additional questions um, that you think of afterwards, go ahead and post that directly into the SAP community and you can get answers by our experts and by our community members. So with that, we're going to end this call. We wanna thank you guys. Um, take a look in the chat. I've posted some links for you um, and have good days, good evenings, um, good everything. Thank you.